guys had a lead there early in the second half. Did you feel at that point things were going your way the way you wanted to be? Uh, yeah, I think so. At that time, we were defending well. We were rebounding well. Um, you know, we were doing everything that coach asked us to do, and we 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 felt we didn't execute enough on the offensive end, but we were making up for that defensively. And you know, I don't I wouldn't say the defensive intensity dropped, but they just started making shots, and you know they they ended up going on a run, and you know basketball is a game of runs, and they got the last run. Yeah, um, it's focus, you know. Uh, we shoot free throws every day in practice, but uh, when you're playing against a team as good as Pitt, you know, you can't leave that many free throws, you know, on the line. You really have to make them pay. Um, you know, that was that was huge for us, especially even in the first half earlier on. I think we started to go on a run uh, and, you know, to bring the game back closer. But if we had made our free throws, we would have been up one or two points. You know, so free throws is huge, you know. Well, what were you able to do against the rest of this front line? Personally, you had a very solid game. Uh, I mean, pulled them away from the basket and attack um, off the dribble. I feel, you know, they have so much size. With guys that big, they can't always, you know, move quickly, laterally, you know. But, uh, you know, I think I forced the issue a bit in the first half. You know, seeing that matchup, <clears throat> where I could have seen now a couple more times to my teammates, but um, that's all it really was. How tough is it to play against a team like that that can spread the ball around and not turn it over or not have a big drop off offensively? I mean, it's tough. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely one of the better teams in the country the way they're playing right now, and that's exactly why, because they're so unselfish. You know, um, everyone on the team plays to their strengths. Uh, so you really have to be locked in defensively. You know, you have to know what guys' strengths and weaknesses are, and um, so sort of just play the game according. Jeremiah, you've been 37 minutes. Is that part of the game plan? Uh, no, it's different guys every night. You know, coach just plays whoever he feels is getting the job done. Uh, I was probably in there for defense, most likely, uh, because if you're playing defense, then you're going to play on this team and, you know, I wasn't aware I played that many minutes. I wasn't really paying attention, but, you know, it's different guys every night. Jeremiah, you play against those guys over the summer? Yes, sir. Green Tree? Yes, sir. Have you seen a big difference in Cameron Wright's game that he made himself into much more of an offensive threat? Did you notice that happening throughout the summer and the season? Yeah, I, I think so. He's uh, much more aggressive. You know, he has much more of an aggressive offensive mindset. Uh, he was making some shots today. He, um, his mid-range shot has definitely probably improved. Uh, he was attacking the basket well. He he played a he played a good game, but you know, uh, I don't I don't see you know he was uh, he was good in Green Tree too. So I don't see much of a difference. Um, it's tough, you know, because uh, that's what you saw um, bank on is being able to get stops and then fly back the other way. But when the game is uh, stopping so frequently, you know, it's tough to sort of get that flow that you want to the game where you can use the speed to your advantage. Um, I mean, the refs, you know, they called a great game today. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's probably the biggest down about that. Jeremiah, uh Coach talked about this being a measuring stick every year for the program. I mean, do you get the sense that you, could you see progress? I know they have some different guys. We have some different guys. But could you see progress in terms of you guys maybe getting closer to where you want to be? Yes, I do see the gap closing. Um, we've got significantly more talent than we had last year. If I remember right, we weren't we weren't in the game like that last year for that long. Um, you know. I think we should have went into halftime with a lead, actually. We left a lot of free throws out there. You know, we, we competed, but, you know, Pitt is always a good team. They're ACC, you know. Um, so I definitely think the gap is closing, and we're going to we're gonna keep pushing until we beat those guys. Well, how tough is it when you may have your man boxed out, but you 
Pitt had nine guys with at least three rebounds. How difficult is that when you get a good position and then somebody else was crashing in? Um, I mean, they're huge, man. <laughs> That's the MO for Pitt. You know, uh, Dixon does a great job of recruiting that way. You can see it definitely with the guys he brings in every year. He recruits size. You know, so that's definitely something he goes after. So, you know, it's always really tough. And it's one of those things where, um, especially for some of our smaller guards, you know, uh, when the ball goes up, as long as you don't have to get the ball, but just make sure your man doesn't get it type of mentality. Um, but, yeah, it's tough. They're big. <laughs> They're really big, man. <laughs> Thank you, Pitt players and Max. Thanks. Appreciate it.